bladders, kind of proportionally to the amount of G's, and that. Steps up, you go into the back seat. those legs. Ready, hit it. Nice work, dude. Now you can look out and enjoy the view. Departure good. Morning, Blue Angel 7. We have passed in 3,000 for 10,000. Blue Angel 7, two falls departure. Radar contact. Uh, Tommy, maintain 10,000. Report cancellation in your IFR for your maneuvers. Blue Angel 7, we will uh, cancel this. <laughs> your body weight. A little bit of a, maybe a little bit of a sinking feeling. Yeah. All right, now here comes to three G's. There's three G's right there. A little bit more weight on your body. Here's four. There's four G's right there. A little bit more of a sinking feeling, right? Very much. Yeah. All right, so as we turn the corner here, you can see I'm still breathing. I'm still talking in four G's at four times my body weight. All right, so 
am used to pulling G's, so it's a little bit different for me than it is for you. Okay, so now, So right now we're going to go about 400 knots, and then I'm going to pull four Gs for 90 degrees of turn. So this will be a quick onset of G, and what I want you to do is I'll go through the squeeze those legs. Ready, hit it. Okay. All right, Brian, here we go. Squeeze those legs. Ready, hit it. All right, there's four right there. We're going to sustain four for 90 degrees of turn. AC 3823, did you have Mike? There we go, how was that? A little bit more work, right? So the onset rate is something that catches up to you rather quickly. So this jet can snap really quick in different directions. All right, so here we go. Squeeze those legs. Ready, hit it. All right, there's six Gs right there. There we go, how was that? That's a lot of fun. A little bit better, right? A little bit more of a workout. Definitely. So, you know, as a teacher, you can understand uh, the kind of the training aid of that there's no free lunch, right? So for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. So for the harder that I pull the aircraft around, the more airspeed we're going to bleed off, right? So right now, we're just flying 350 knots. If I just turn the jet slowly, just pull, we could still hold 360 knots without even touching the throttles at all at 2G, right? Well, if I start to bring the aircraft back a little bit, we're bleeding a little more airspeed off because we're like, hey, you want to be able to pull harder. Well, now we're 330, now we're 320, and now it's going to take a little bit more energy to keep the aircraft flying, right? So just in that turn, we bled about 50 to 60 knots off the aircraft. There's one. There's two. That's pretty cool, huh? Very cool. <laughs> All right, now here comes two to the right. Hit it. There's one. There's two. That's pretty cool. <laughs> it's one of my favorite maneuvers. This is going to set us up for the inverted flight, okay? So we're going to hang upside down in the straps for a little bit. And you can look around upside down, hanging upside down, which is pretty cool. So the sky is going to be below us, and the ground is going to be above us, which is one of my favorite maneuvers. All right, so here we go. We'll turn here. We'll use this road kind of as our reference point. We'll fly right up this road upside down. All right, Brian, here we go. You ready to go? I'm ready. All right, man, rolling in. Little push. There we go. Now you can look around. Be like, wow, that's pretty cool. The sky's below us. The ground's above us. Not very often. Get to fly upside down on an F-18. That's pretty cool. Roll up. <laughs> okay, Brian, here we go. You ready to go? Ready. All right, man, squeeze those legs. Ready, hit it. Up we go. All the way up and over the top. All right, you can tilt your head back. You can look at our smoke trail. There's our smoke trail below us. There we go, put it right between our legs. And a little bump, boom! There we go, nice! Altitude, altitude.
Going to seven back to safe on deck with Brian. Nice work, buddy. Brian, seven two operator, contact you two miles north. <laughs> for what they go through and that is way different than flying commercially. It's just crazy how fast that can happen. But you think about what these are built for and they've got to be they've got to be very nimble, very agile. Would you do it again? I would but I don't think I could go back up right now. But maybe tomorrow. 